Well, here's rule number one. Capacity. C for capacity. Okay, what do I mean by that? If you're buying, these are the rules, by the way, for family let properties. So if we go for C for capacity, what do I mean by that? If you're going to get a family let, often known as a buy to let, you need it to be a three or a four bedroom house. Not a flat, not an apartment, not a two bed. People say, why not? If you get a one bedroom flat, somebody moves in it, then they fall in love with someone in that one bedroom flat, they move out and move in with them. Okay, that's now a problem for you. You've got an empty property again. You get a two bedroom house, somebody moves in with one child, they get pregnant, they now are having another child, they need a three bedroom house, they move out. And you end up with what I call transiency and transient properties. On average, a tenant change costs you £1,500. That's £1,500 each time the tenant changes. If you lose the tenant once a year, over 10 years, that's a £15,000 problem. If you've got 10 of those properties, that's a £150,000 problem you've now created for yourself. Okay? All because you bought the wrong houses. If you buy the right three and four bedroom houses that meet the rest of my rules in a moment as well, and you get someone who says, do you know what? I want to live here forever. My mum lives down the road. My, my uncle and my auntie live up the road. My kids are at the local school. I want to live here forever. You get what I call a lifer. They may not stay forever, but they're going to stay long term. When the door handle breaks, a lifer fixes the door handle. Yeah? When the property needs painting, a lifer rings you up and says, can I paint it? You buy them the paint. They paint it. They decorate it. They stay for life. You don't get that transiency. At the Insight Group, our average tenancy is over five years because we buy the right houses. Okay? So we're not paying that £1,500 each year. It's every five years or more. And they've done the repairs along the way, so we've saved money along the way as well. So you need to make sure you're buying three and four bedroom houses.